beautiful people, welcome back. I hope everyone is having a beautiful day today. And in today's video, we're gonna be testing out, look at me, I'm like, <laughs> we're gonna be testing out some drugstore makeup. Uh, because in today's video, that's ex exactly what we're doing. And I'm kind of excited because I feel like in 2020 for me, um, drugstore makeup, like it had uh, like some good pockets of time where I was like, ooh, yeah, ooh, and I was really interested. In like the last probably like four-ish months, I haven't been seeing a ton um, that I was interested in until recently, which is when I started, you know, kind of pick up some products and I figured I would just wait till we had them all obviously in a group so we could do a video. And so for today's video, we don't really have a ton um, like in terms of products. I think I maybe have, you know, like eight-ish. I guess that's not that bad. Uh, but we have some new blushes from Catrice. We have the new L'Oreal Tinted Moisturizer. We have a couple new things from Kiko Milano. And then we also have a couple of items. I have a little contour kit from Profusion and like a hard candy little highlighter. Um, so just a couple of items that aren't new necessarily, but things that I wanted to test out. So I picked them up and figured we would test them out in this video, okay, okay. Of course, before we get going into the video, I am gonna pause really quick as per usual and uh, just introduce myself for anybody that might be new here. My name is Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria. Welcome to the channel. I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right around 7, 7.30ish a.m. Uh, my time here in good old Northern Michigan. And then also, if you haven't done so yet, I would really, really appreciate it if you would take a second and uh, go follow me over on Instagram. Everything is linked down below because I am doing so much work over there. I'm really trying to grow that platform to 10,000 followers. And uh, there's just always a lot of content rolling, whether it is makeup IGTV videos, makeup inspo, plus size fashion inspo, stuff like that. Um, I also love to do mini makeup uh, tutorials, mini makeup reels, IGTV videos. Um, so really there's always a lot of like revolving stuff in the feed. And then also in the Insta stories, like if you just want some like raw unfiltered ass time with Paige, um, I love hanging out in the day-to-day -day Insta stories with you guys. We do unboxings, we go for walks, we take polls. And uh, really that's just where you guys get to see everything that's coming to the channel or a lot of it, as well as kind of the behind the scenes, my life, and just, you know, get, getting to know me, getting to see my dog, because she's real cute. And um, yeah, so if you're into that, again, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Everything will be linked down below. It's kind of the behind the scenes to the YouTubes. But uh, yeah, do that. Anyway, by do that, I mean like pause the video, okay? If you haven't done it, pause the video, go down in the description, click it, do do the thing, okay? Do the damn thing. Um, and by the damn thing, I mean follow me, please. And uh, yeah, then we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna zoom this camera in, and we're gonna get started. Okay, so anybody that doesn't consider me a fashionista, first of all, look at these adorable clips in my hair. I'm obviously a queen and uh, I'm living my life. Did I talk about this? I don't know, but this is a Fabletics little two-piece matching suit and it is so, so cute. It's like um, black with these like little vented green swooshy things. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what I'm trying to communicate, uh, but it's really, really cute. It has a hood to it. It's more of a crop style. And then it also has matching pants, which I love that I just showed you. <laughs> Ingenuity. Um, more like hip cramp, but that's fine. Anyways, okay, let's go ahead and start getting into today's video. Obviously, I just got to grab my little box of goodies here. I think we're first going to go in with the new L'Oreal Paris. This is the Skin Paradise Water Infused Tinted Moisturizer. And I have this in the shade Fair 03, and it says that this is Awaken Fresh Glow with Luminous Coverage for 24 hour hydration. So it's definitely gonna be more of like a light tinted moment. So you guys know too, before um, I go in with this, I did already prime off of camera with my Tatcha um, Silk Canvas here. It's because I know how that one works and how it reacts on my skin. So the first thing we're doing is going in with this little fuzzy sponge. This is from ColourPop. And it's one of the sponges that actually has the little microfiber on the surface that's supposed to help kind of keep the coverage on your skin as opposed to absorbing it. Instead, what I'm noticing is that this sponge appears to be um, soaking up a fair amount of the product right from the jump. So I think we're just going to go in like I should have um, in the first place. And I'm just going to take some of it on my hand and go, you know, some, so some of this action right here. Because I feel like a lot of times, you know, with a tinted product, especially when they have like this level of thinness, you really do get just a nicer application in general. Like not only in the coverage, you know, getting a little bit more of that, but you're also able to really, um, really maintain like a smoothness on the skin. And then I go in later on with more and I just kind of press and pat it over the areas that I might want additional coverage. And that kind of helps to not only blend the areas together, but give me the coverage I'm looking for. And I definitely, oh wow, I definitely think that uh, this tinted cream, not my shade, it is a little bit dark and a little bit orange. All right, guys, so I decided to change this video, obviously, hello, we're, we're very close, and I wanted to give you, first and foremost, a shot of this foundation and how it's looking just on the skin. This is like, I would say one-ish, two coats, kind of built up lightly, um, but just in terms of coverage, I wanted you to get to see, it is a very, very sheer, um, it, it looks beautiful on the skin, like the, the shine of it's nice, it does look very healthy, very hydrated on the skin, but obviously, 
obviously in the end this is more of a skin tinty type product which so obviously I'm not mad you know that being said that it does have less coverage that's how these are supposed to be but I decided for the purposes of this video that I'm actually going to go forward and more so manipulate the coverage which is another reason I really wanted to bring you guys in and let you see not only the look of it on the skin and the amount of coverage you get with just this but um, it's also the reason I wanted to bring you in so you could see the texture and whatnot because going forward like I said I am going to be kind of altering that I'm going to be adding coverage more concealer and just going through and working with the blemishes portion and I didn't want to do that which by the way I'll just go ahead and start doing that now I'm going to use the elf hydrating camo concealer this is in the shade fair warm but one of the things I didn't want to do was start going in and you know adding this fuller coverage concealer and you know making all of these changes to the complexion without like actually bringing you guys in close and letting you get a shot of it so I hope that that's helpful to you and then of course you know if you don't care one way or the other that's totally fine but I just want to keep you know this as well put together for everyone as possible wow actually with the concealer can you see how nice it looks like right over that cheek right there damn elf Okay, we see you. Like, I shouldn't even say it's just e.l.f. Like, the two of them together, they work beautifully. Okay, so really quick, too. This isn't sponsored. I'm just obsessed with this new phone case. Um, it's from Velvet Caviar, and I, like, how can you go wrong? This thing is so beautiful. It's so smooth. I love the look. Obviously, I added the little love handle here because, oh, by, by the way, I will link this down below. Um, I've had a ton of questions about what this is because, obviously, you guys see it on every single phone, but it is my favorite little thing. I know some people love pop sockets, and that's totally fine. I personally hate pop sockets. Um, but I love this because it's so thin, like it doesn't add any bulkiness to the phone. And I am just obsessed with this freaking phone case. I got this one and another one. It was like black, like holographic-y background marble type situation. It's really cute. And uh, yeah, I just, I love it. So I just wanted to give it a shout out. Velvet Caviar, these cases are so damn adorable and I love it a lot. Okay, now from there, let's go ahead and move on to the next product. I'm actually not gonna set my eyes right away because I want to test out this little guy. This is from Kiko Milano and this is their Lost in a Amalfi, Lost in Amalfi, uh, Jelly Highlighter, and I thought it looked really beautiful. This is, by the way, in the shade One Ray of Light, and the packaging from Kiko, oh my god, like, is their stuff not just gorgeous? Ooh, they're so beautiful, but let's go ahead. I'm gonna just, oh boy, we're gonna take off the seal. Oh my god, that actually looks beautiful. The color of that? Okay, I'm listening. I am listening, Beach. Um, let's go ahead and take, actually, I think I'm just gonna use my finger, and I'm gonna work off of the back of this lid, because I, I don't like to waste. Um, so I'm just gonna go in here with my finger and we'll do this side first because you guys get a better shot of it Ooh, okay ray of actual friggin sunlight beaming down upon my cheekle on my cheekle okay so in terms of the texture that actually melts in very very nicely it's not thick at all it just like literally sinks into the skin but I honestly think my favorite thing about this is the fact that it like kind of brings itself down like it really softens because it's not nearly as intense like now as it was when I first applied it and I actually really oh my sweet baby Jesus anybody else just have a heart attack because I sure as hell did Ooh. oh my god I don't even care who it is I just, I'm just gonna, gonna, gonna need some nitro over here guys I'm gonna need some petals oh you guys it's like a little soft amount of grease look at that it looks like I had a little diet chalupa chin kind of like I went to Taco Bell and I was just like bitch just pour on like a little bit like maybe like a half a cup of grease as opposed to your standard two cups just a little bit just a little in there all right so the next couple of items right now I'm using the hourglass translucent setting powder but uh, the next couple of items I'm using are just going to be ones that you have seen me use a thousand times and that is because obviously we're testing out new complexion makeup and I want to make sure that just like with the primer that I'm using stuff that I know how it works so I can kind of tell how I actually feel about the uh, the hydrating product which actually is looking really good with that setting powder I like it quite a bit and then after that again as per usual here I'm just taking the it cosmetics pressed powder um, in the shade light this is their celebration foundation illumination pressed powder okay woo and we're gonna <laughs> wow we're gonna take that here like I said to the shade light and just use it to set the rest of the face I don't want your number no I don't want to give you mine and no, I don't want none of your time, girl. I don't want no scrub. A scrub is a gotta get no love from me. Pulling out the passenger side of his best friend's ride, trying to holler at me. Could I have found a smaller microphone? <laughs> No, uh, that's okay. I think the point really got across. Like, I feel like I resonated. Like, bitch, I don't want no scrub. 
Get out. All right, guys, so next up, we're going in with this palette from Profusion. I was try trying to take the plastic off, but I think I'm gonna need some bifocals for that. But uh, this is their little contour and chill palette, and I am so freaking excited to test this. I picked it up a long time ago, actually, from Walmart. It was like, what, six, seven? Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> I thought I picked it up from Walmart, bitch. I got it from Marshalls for $5.99, woo! And uh, I grabbed this because Profusion, if you don't know, um, makes some really, really awesome makeup. Super affordable. You can get it at Walmart. Evidently, you can get it at Marshalls. But their products are just really, really nice nice. You know, like their eyeshadows, their shimmers. I've talked about them time and time again. And I feel like for the price, the quality is outstanding. And so I was really excited when I saw this one, evidently at Marshall's, to test it out. So I, you know, just kind of kept it in my drawer, hit it this entire time so I could put it in this kind of a video. While I talk, why don't I bronze here? I'm going to take the shade Honey, which is the one right in the middle. And I'm going to take that and maybe mix it in a little teeny bit with the one next door, the slightly darker shade. And uh, I'm going to bronze, bronze my face. Hopefully this goes well. But typically... <laughs> as I was trying to say, and before I interrupted myself 77 times. Ooh, that's pretty. Um, I think I just spit everywhere. <laughs> it was so pretty. Um, but yeah, when I see palettes like this, I really like them, moral of the story, because when I'm in a hurry, I like having the option to grab, like, one item and just do my whole face. And when I have something like this that has, like, a bronzer option, it has a shimmery highlight, which obviously I've never tested, but it has those options in it, which are already two of the things I do. Plus, it even has these down here, which are, like, under eye brightening type options. Um, it just makes it so I can really do a lot with only reaching for one item, and uh, it makes it a lot quicker. So this actually looks pretty nice. I like the colors. I like the texture. It's melting in. I'm not having any issues. I am going to zoom this camera out because boy, boy, am I looking real dark right here. Okay, so I think zooming out was the right decision because obviously, per usual here in northern Michigan, the lighting is not good. So if you happen to notice things are looking darker on one side, you know, whatever, um, or if you notice maybe like the forehead looks patchy, just it's not the bronzer, it's the lighting. Okay, so next up from here, let's get into a new item. And this is probably out of everything in here, the item I am the most excited about because it's, it's from Catrice, of course. And this is their new blush box. Now, if you are familiar with my channel or with, you know, just drugstore in general, you might know, but Catrice has already released their blush boxes. They released them like maybe a year, year and a half ago. I have every single shade and they are absolutely beautiful. But these ones are different, okay? These ones were just released, and this is their glowing and multicolor blush box, and I have it in two different shades, and oh, oh, oh bitch, are these not beautiful? Um, this lighter one here, this is more of like a pinky color. This is in the shade 010 Dolce Vita, and then the other one has a deeper kind of mauve berry look to it, and this is in 020. It's Wine O'Clock. Oh, bitch, I love, I love that. I think they would go really well together, and so I think first up, I want to take this one, the wine one, and maybe put that a little bit back. I'm actually going to use this fluffy brush. This is just from ColourPop. I'm just wiping off whatever's on it because, bitch, I don't have a clue. And uh, this is just their big old fluffy brush. So I'm going to take it. it. It stained, again, as per usual with everything. But I'm just going to take this and dunk in here and get it nice and coated. Oh, wow. That was, that was very coated. I'm just going to take and kind of start that on the back of the cheek here. Oh, that's pretty. How is that coming across on camera? It's like so nice, so glowy, and it has the most beautiful, like light plummy sheen. Oh, that's so beautiful. Okay, so next up, we're gonna go in here with this Juno & Co. blush brush, which I just picked these up and talked about them in, I wanna say it was a recent Beautylish haul where I like tested out new makeup. I'll link it up here. But I'm gonna take this brush, which is also kind of stained, and go into the lighter blush. And I think for this one, I actually will put it just by itself on the other cheek. That way we can kind of compare and contrast both colors. Oh my God, you guys, it's so cute. It's like the most light little demure pinky moment. So I'm just gonna take... Um, both sides and add a little bit to the other. That way everything matches a little bit better. And honestly, the two of them, like it's not going to be perfect. This side, no matter what, is going to look a little bit less berry than this side. But both of those together look really, really pretty. I love that. Love, love that finish. Okay, so next up, I'm going to go back into this Profusion little kit here, and I'm going to take this brush from Sigma. This is their F25 tapered face. And I'm going to take, which one of these do I want? I kind of want the shade Biscuit. Yeah, Biscuit, which is this one right here. It's the brighter, more like kind of banana-y type shade. I'm actually going to take that on a sponge and uh, just kind of pat it in. This is still just the same damp ColourPop sponge. And I'm just going to put it up under there just to really help brighten that whole area. 
And then uh, later on when we're all done, obviously I'll go back and I'll wipe off the excess, make it all blend a little bit. Okay, so now while this is looking nice and intense, wow, <laughs> it's very bright, um, I'm gonna move on to brows. And for that, I don't actually have anything new. So I'm gonna be taking two products. You've seen me use them a thousand times. Um, so I'll probably just breeze right through this part, but this is the e.l.f. Wow Brow. And this is in the shade Brunette, which I did just use in testing new e.l.f., which I will link obviously up in the cards. And then I'm also gonna be using the Milani Weekend Brow Eyebrow Tint. And this is in the shade 130 Medium Brown. And I believe I used this in a testing new makeup video, which I will also link up in the eye. All right, guys, so while I was off of camera, I decided to do a couple more things. So I did the brows, and then I also went ahead and wiped away all of the bake. So the, the brightness that you're seeing is the leftover, like that's the amount of brightness we got. And after I was done with that, I wanted to prep for a highlight, which of course just means to set my face. And for that, I used a little bit of the Catrice Dewy Glow Setting Spray. This is absolutely fantastic, one of my all-time favorite. Favorites. I go through bottle after bottle after bottle of this stuff and it is amazing. It's like $8 and uh, of course it'll be linked down below if you want to check it out but it gives you the most beautiful glowy like lit from within everything pressed together kind of skin look and I just I swear by this it's amazing highly recommend again check it out if you haven't but from there let's go ahead and get into the highlight which this is something I have had in my collection for a while and I just never tested it out like I kept doing videos and it kept getting pushed to the back but I figured today damn it today is that day okay today is the day that we are just gonna be that bitch and we're gonna dive in so again this is from hard candy and this is I don't know where all of that just came from but this is their light and bouncy highlighter and it is in the shade rose gold and I got this from Walmart I don't remember how much it was but hard candy is you know fairly inexpensive it's really pretty like the actual look of it it has like that really nice domed kind of baked look Ooh, that's super pretty. Let's go ahead and do a little swatchy. Oh my God, does that feel awful? Okay, so hold on. This might be one of those cases. Yeah, oh, they're nothing. Um, yeah, this might be one of those instances where we have to like scrape off a layer because if it is baked, that's pretty common. So I'm just gonna like scrape back a little bit here with my nail. Um, I know some people absolutely hate this. Totally understandable if you do. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead. I made some ridges in the top of it and now I'm gonna give it a swatch and see. Oh, it's one of those one of those squishy ones. Oh my God, you idiot. It actually says it's a bouncy highlight. No, no ship age. It says it in the title. Um, but yeah, this is one of those textures, kind of like the, um, the Stila. They came out with those, um, squishy heavens. No, I, you know, I don't remember what they're called, but they were like the heavens, heavens hue highlighters. Wow. Poof. Just came to my head like that. But uh, it's very similar to that, both in shape, texture, all of the above. So not only did I scrape it off a little bit, but I also got a much, much better swatch. Um, oh wow. This looks a little bit chunky <laughs> when you swatch it like that, but there's a, a look of it I think from this far away it actually looks really beautiful but up close it definitely does have more of like a textured look to it so I think for me with this highlighter instead of going in with a standard brush I'm actually going to just take it um, with my finger like a little bit here and kind of press it in that way um, hopefully I can avoid the um, emphasizing of it oh well I'm not going to get any damn payoff doing it this way it looks like well, shit. Okay, so change of plans. We're gonna go in instead with the other side of the ColourPop sponge and do a little bit of this and maybe this'll help. Okay, woo, okay, yeah, we definitely have more payoff. Um, oh, but it's definitely really fucking chunky. Mm-hmm. Okay, let, let's evaluate again. Um, I'm gonna go in with my finger and just kind of like, maybe try to get away some of that or like press it in. Like, can, can you just go one way or the other? Either flake off or press in. But damn it, bitch, don't you, don't you dare just sit on my cheek after I went through all of this. Oh my God, it looks, like on camera, it looks stunning. Um, up close in real life, it looks so, so chunky. <laughs> Not in a good way. Um, so yeah, yeah, like I'm chunky in a good way, bitch. Hi. Um, this is chunky in like the <laughs> chunky kind of way. Not good. So let's see. Can I like dust it away? Definitely not. Okay, that was a cute try. Okay, so I think the first thing I need to consider here is that this side, it looks like this. Like I, I can't change it. I can go in with another highlight in a second and like blend it in a little bit better, but this is the intensity. Like the, the, I'm gonna have to match this. So I'm gonna take the same brush. I'm just gonna apply it the same on both sides. Even though I don't love it, um, I still wanna make sure that I have like the same look on both sides. So I'm just gonna take that brush or the blender again and with a little bit on it and be a little bit more precise with it. 
Ugh. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. Guys, I'm gonna be I'm gonna make this work. I'm gonna make this work. Okay, don't you don't you question me, okay? Don't you question. I mean, I wouldn't blame you if you did, but also don't, okay? Don't lose the faith. So, by the way, <laughs> this is I, I don't even know where this came from, but I decided um as of recent that cuz for a long time, let me let me um go in and give you a little backstory. For a long time for some reason, I had like this weird like thing in my head where like I didn't deserve anything. Like I didn't deserve success. I didn't deserve to like do good at this, and I just like I legitimately went through year after year staying on YouTube um, still just for whatever reason kind of believing that I was never gonna actually get to go anywhere with it and the other day it just kind of hit me that like bitch don't do that to yourself like you need to start really putting it out there like the things that you want your goals your aspirations and so as of late I just decided like I'm gonna really start putting my money where my mouth is and uh, I'm just kind of putting it out there like putting it out into the world the things that I want like my goals my whether it's a goal on the channel my, my goals for Instagram whatever and uh, it's a amazing to me like how I, I actually feel so at peace with that decision like for example I started by the way I'm going to take some of this uh, Revlon this is their Skin Lights Prismatic Highlighter this is a fantastic fantastic highlight it's so beautiful and I'm just going to take some of that and kind of use it to mix in with the other we're going to get really glowy and then I'm going to bring it down a little bit okay I, I have a plan kind of. But anyways, I, I think for me, a lot of it is, oh, that actually helped a fair amount. Like, you can still see the little chunkies in there a little bit, but it definitely did help. And then, yeah, now let's go ahead. Wow, let's let's soften this. Okay, I think we're on to step two. We're working it, guys. We're gonna put our thing down, we're gonna flip it, and we're gonna reverse it, bitch, and it's gonna look good, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna do it. I think it's actually been amazing to me just to see how uh, like my mindset in terms of so many things has just changed and how like I just started realizing that you know Paige if you want to be like well, one of my goals as an example is being a Fabletics ambassador I want to be one really bad um, I love the company I stand behind it I've talked about it a thousand times I talk about it on here on Instagram I've even done a video a long time ago and uh, it's it's just a company that I really do enjoy their product and I think it's something that you know it, it's a very positive and on-brand message for me that you can do as far as like Fabletics goes I want to talk about them and be an ambassador, not just because I love it and I love the fashion and I love the styles, but also because I love the idea of promoting that plus size people, you know, you, your body deserves to be in whatever clothing it wants to be. And like, if you want to wear athletics, you know, or athletic apparel um, like this and you want to work out, that's awesome. Like a plus size people can work out. You can wear it if you just want to be comfortable and wear leggings and go out and run your errands or live your life in just comfortable athletic leisure. Like athleisure is a real thing. And I think for me, the, there's just been so many aspects of this that have come full circle where I'm just like, you know what, Paige, if you want these things, if you want to be a Fabletics ambassador, if you want to be uh, like another company, um, Melinda Maria, like all the jewelry that I'm wearing, I'm wearing, uh, yeah, her ear cuff. I have on her two Leah earrings, her new big hoops. I have on all of her jewelry right here. Um, that's another company that I absolutely love. I support it, the quality, like the, the designs, everything about it, I just really love. And I decided that I'm gonna just start putting myself out there. I'm gonna start posting it on Instagram, which is obviously where, you know, like the, the reinvention of my Instagram came from. Um, just really realizing that like I, if I want to do something and if I want to have something, there's nothing wrong with like putting it out there. And I have to be that person that tells myself that it's okay to do that. And I just, I don't know, I've been really kind of enjoying it. Anyway, I'm gonna take some of the Hourglass. This is their Ethereal, this is their Ethereal Light Ambient Lighting Powder. Um, it's just like a really nice smooth finishing powder. And I'm gonna take some of this as like a final step here and just kind of sweep it over this area just as one last little like look at it kind of just brought it down just applies like a nice little amount of softness to this area okay, so really quick we're gonna get into eyes I've got these two little individuals I'm super excited about um, this one's from Kiko Milano this is from the same collection and this is their metal chrome eyeshadow and then I also picked up from NYX this is their new uh, shadow jelly and this is in the shade rust worthy these are gonna be great um, but anyways while I go through I'm gonna swatch these but I have no idea just as a side note where that other thing was going with the Fabletics and whatnot, but I will say, because I don't even know how I got started down that road, but I do just want to add, God, this packaging is beautiful. Um, I just want to add, though, a huge thank you to you guys for being over there on Instagram, for hyping me up, for being so supportive, because I have had such a positive response, and I think that for a lot of people, ooh, that texture, very similar to um, like the Charlotte Tilbury, how it has like that, that whipped texture, their uh, eyes to mesmerize, very similar to that in the look of it. Oh, and in the texture. Wow, that is actually surprisingly similar to the Charlotte Tilbury one. Like, look at that. The color, every, like everything about that is so similar. Wow. Oh my sweet lordy up above. This is like, can you see that? 
It's like such a gooey texture. Wow, bitch. When they meant, or when they said friggin' shadow jelly, they, they meant it. Okay, that is... Oh, that is interesting. Um, but anyways, I feel like on that platform, hurry up page, um, that platform for me, it isn't just filled with followers anymore. It's filled with a lot of people that I feel like genuinely care about me and you care about um, like how I view myself and how we interact and, and you guys actually care about me pursuing the things that I want because I think that that really translates from me to the photos or me, you know, into you guys. Like that just, it translates so easily across social media when you're doing what you're passionate about. And I just wanted to say thank you to all of you that have been over there that you continuously share me and you hype me up. And we actually just talked about this the other day, even in the stories. <gasps> oh, that's so beautiful. And that texture is so, so satisfying. Oh my God, I almost just dipped my shirt in it. Look at that. Oh my God. I think that's the one we're going to use. And I'm thinking all over the lid, just like, bam, just, we're just going to not even mess around. I'm going to grab this Real Techniques. This is the base shadow brush. It's kind of a smaller fluffy brush. And I am just going to go straight in. I'm going to, you know, <laughs> per usual being me here, I'm going to work off off of the uh, little foil on the top and take some of that. That is way too much. I can already tell this stuff spreads like crazy. And I'm going to take and just put that on my lids. Now, I don't have any additional product on these. I didn't go in with more concealer, no base, um, because I honestly feel like, oh my God, that is so much product. Um, I'm going to spread that out. But I feel like with this one, um, going in with any kind of a base, I think would actually make it slip around because naturally this is so wet. So I'm just going to go in with this by itself. Wow, that one one dunk did basically both lids. Holy bejesus, that's that's a very movable product. Okay. That's actually, wow, that was like really fast, really pretty. Okay, so really quick off of camera, I took the Revlon highlight, the same one that I used on the rest of the face, and I popped that on the inner corner and the brow bone. And now I'm gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, and I'm gonna take this and just give myself one final coat. Okay, so next up to finish up the eyes, I do have two different mascaras. I have from the same collection from Kiko Milano. This is their 24-hour lasting click mascara. And then to go along with that, I have the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Mascara. This is supposed to give you volume, length, and definition. And I think what I'll do for this portion is actually just go through and use both kind of interchangeably. And I'll let you guys know what I think in terms of the lashes because for me, lashes, I feel like they're very individual from one person to the next. All right, so I just got done with mascara and I did add a little bit of this liner. This is the NYX Epic Wear liner in pitch black. From here, I do really quickly want to recap both of these mascaras. I did this one all on this eye and then the same over here. So I didn't really mix and mingle. I tried to keep them separate. Um, that way I could have an idea of each. And what's interesting with both of these mascaras is that you would never know, like in looking at my lashes, which you guys will get a close up here as soon as we do the lip, but uh, you would never know with both of these that I actually used two different mascaras because they are both very, very individualized on the lashes. So I guess as far as these go, I don't really have a favorite because they both are very, very similar for me, one to the other. But uh, yeah, if, if you like them, if you like that thinner, more wispy look, either one of those might be for you. For me, I would probably use those as more of a building mascara, like put a coat of that down to give me that length and to give me that separation like of the lashes. And I'd probably go in after that and add like a more thicker, more voluminous, um, like building mascara, something that's gonna build the volume out this way to really chunkify them and give them that more, um, like that more full kind of feel throughout the lash line. That's probably what I would do. But again, if you like them by themselves, that's just, you know, lash preferences to each their own. But at this point, you guys, we are finally almost done and moving on to the lip. And for lips, I have these little guys from Maybelline. This is their Superstay 24 hour lip color. And uh, I picked these up a while ago. I have them in two different colors. I talked about them over on Instagram, I think too, when I got them. I have them in 320 Caramel Crush and 3 35 mocha cho chocolate and this one is more of like a, a metallic version so I'm probably going to stick with this one it's just more of like a neutral brown. If you've never seen one of these basically all it is is uh, like an anti-transfer kind of lipstick as, as the name would suggest it's going to stay put for 24 hours and basically what you do here you go in with the first side this is the uh, the color side or the side with the pigment in it and you just get this applied which wow that actually that feels really nice. It's very, very thin. Okay, so I've had this color on. It's just been drying down for roughly the last like two-ish minutes. And the deal with this is you're supposed to apply just like one thin layer, let it sit. And then now for the second step, you go in with this little conditioning end. It looks kind of like a little lip balm. It's just a clear little balm of sorts. And uh, you just go in with this and then apply it right over top. 
and I just want to show you, like, there is no transfer from the lipstick to this, and this by itself is, like, a very, very hydrating, I think you can see it right there, yeah, it's a very hydrating balm, so for there to be no transfer, that is really, really impressive with this color really sticking to the lips, but all right, beautiful people, with that, obviously, this is how the full face came together, and I want to start off the outro by throwing up the up close, that way you guys can see how everything is looking thus far, and I think for me, I'm actually a big fan of the cohesion that this look has, because this is exactly what I was talking about in the beginning when I was, you know, talking about how I wanted to build the coverage and how I was kind of going for like a, a lighter but still a, a full makeup look and I definitely feel like we achieved that and I think overall for me the face looks good. Like yes there are a couple of areas that I'm not obsessed with. Okay now just getting a little bit of an up close too on that tinted moisturizer. I actually feel like that's looking pretty good. I mean as far as it being like a base for all of the other products I'm not seeing too many issues. Like it, it looks a little dry maybe around my mouth but uh, that is pretty common because for me the first like hour ish of my makeup hour to two hours I really like to let it you know like naturally settle and press in I like to let my oils come out and so I think for where I'm at like in the overall wear test spectrum I think things look pretty good oh yeah that's right the one thing that I didn't like too was that like bouncy highlighter from hard candy that I wasn't a big fan of but everything else is looking pretty good but you guys at this point I want to hear your thoughts down in the comments what do you think whether it is on the products um have you tried them do you like them do you hate them were you curious about them you know anything in that respect is there anything that you're excited about any launches your favorite product whatever you want to add or if you just want to say hi what's up girl leave all of that down in the comments of course I love love to hear from you guys and then of course like I said at the start of the video if you missed it I mean it has been a half hour maybe you just forgot um but if you haven't done so yet you can subscribe turn on your post notifications follow me on Instagram which I would really really appreciate and I think that that is everything you guys thank you all so so much for watching please don't forget to have an amazing day night weekend whatever it is when you're watching this and I'll see you in the next one Bye. moment but at the same time it's also building really beautifully <gasps> there's such a high pitch noise in my ear right now it's like that that ghostly high pitch oh bitch like when i tell you it sounds like an actual 2001 dial-up internet right now <gasps> that's what it's sounding like it's quite painful i'm so funny <laughs> shut up look at me i'm a tiktoker <laughs> page stop it right now <laughs> stop it